Guys, you are not going to believe what I just found. Trying to break into my bird enclosure right here. Guys, every bird is literally hiding right now. If you look very, very closely on one of their toys, you can see a coiled up snake. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, it was very unexpected what we found. So when I was out feeding my animals their morning feedings, you are not going to believe what we found inside of my bird enclosure. It really caught me off guard. I did not expect it at all, and the birds were freaking out. Now this little guy that we found was just hanging out in my bird enclosure. Now, before I say too much, we're just gonna hop straight into today's video. Guys, you are not going to believe what I just found trying to break into my bird enclosure right here. Now, I already took their bowls out. I was about to do their morning feedings. I already rinsed their cage. You can see it's completely wet. It's completely clean. Every day I clean their enclosure. I make sure everything looks good, that nothing has broken in here. And tell me, Larry, what is broken into your cage? So Larry is all flared up. Bebe and Larry are literally glued to each other's side. Now, they're only usually like this at night, so that means that they were also very, very spooked by what was trying to break into their enclosure. Now guys, every bird is literally hiding right now. You can see Dopey is all the way up there. We got Mango in the nest box. And I don't know if you can see this, but guys, if you take a closer look, look guys, look right over here. Do you see that right there? If you look very, very closely on one of their toys, you can see a coiled up snake. Now guys, when did this happen? Oh my goodness, Pepe, you gotta get away from it. I don't even know if it's alive at this point. It hasn't even moved. And I don't know when this snake tried to break in their enclosure. Now thankfully, this snake is very, very tiny. It's a little baby. Now I'm not sure what snake it is, but I, I can't really tell from this far because it's all coiled up in one of their toys. So we're actually gonna have to open the enclosure and take this snake out, but it's not moving guys since it's so tiny i'm not sure if the birds attacked it protecting their home but guys just imagine if this snake was venomous or if this snake was any bigger it could have really harmed my birds now thankfully it was only a baby because the snake would have tried to make a snack out of little larry so we've came to the front of the enclosure where the door is and guys do you see that right there you can see the snake tail right here now we're gonna go ahead and touch it through the enclosure and oh Guys, yeah, it's not moving. I don't think it's alive. Let's go on ahead, open our enclosure on up. Okay, make sure our birds don't get out. You can see they're all huddled in one corner, but let's go on ahead and take a look at this. So we're just gonna pull this on up. All right, guys, where is it? Let's see. Do you see it, guys? Where is it? Okay, I see it. We're gonna just get in the cage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, do you see, guys? Oh my goodness. I think it's a baby ring neck. Oh, <gasps> oh my. Goodness, guys, do you see this? We're just gonna put him right here and close the enclosure. Oh no. Close this one up so none of the birds get out. Guys, no, this is one of my favorite snakes here in South Florida. This poor little baby is unfortunately not alive. I'm not sure if the birds attacked him or if maybe he ate something that he wasn't supposed to, but yeah, he's definitely not alive. But you can see he's very, very tiny. There's no way he would have harmed our birds. He's not venomous at all, but he is one little cute snake. I mean, look at him. Poor little guy did not deserve this. Now guys, I brought him in the sunlight because I don't know if you can see it, but he looks like he was injured right here on the back end of him. I don't know if the birds grabbed him and they punctured him right here, but there was definitely something that got him because you can see he has an injury in his backside. Now he did decide to crawl up in my bird enclosure and unfortunately this little guy did not make it. But I don't think there's any way this guy would have been able to climb up because look how tiny he is. There's absolutely no way that this little snake would have been able to climb up on this wood leg right here. I mean, that has to be about a foot big. So my only guess is is he was probably living in here. The mom snake probably crawled up into the top of this tiki and laid her eggs. Now let's see. <gasps> yeah, guys, you can see that this is definitely a great space for a snake to just get nice and cozy up there and make a nest for her babies. Now I'm not sure if she's still up there, 
but we are gonna have to investigate and see if she is living in there because snakes will come and go and incubate their eggs. Now, of course, she needs to go and get food. Thankfully, she did not decide to eat my birds as a snack to fill her belly, but she could very well likely still be living in this tiki hut. Now, I'm not sure how we're gonna be able to check this entire tiki hut because it's very, very tall, but guys, we're gonna try our best to make sure that no other snake breaks into my bird enclosure. All right, so we checked the entire bird enclosure from top to bottom. Now, obviously, it's really hard for me to get to the top. I did get up there with a ladder. I was unable to find anything because if you guys see, this is very, very tightly packed. So even with a little bit of movement, I just break it off completely. So we don't really want to damage the entire tiki hut. But what we are going to be doing is we are going to be monitoring their enclosure for the next couple days or weeks. Because if there's a snake family living in this enclosure, well, they will definitely try to make their way to my birds and hopefully they don't but if they do They will try to munch on them and of course all of my birds don't want that We want to make sure our birds are nice and healthy and are safe and protected. Isn't that right? I mean look at them these poor little faces. They are so so scared and I suspect that it was actually Larry that probably attacked this little snake because Larry is very very territorial and he is actually one little mean grumpy little pants. I mean look at him He is just trying to chase my finger down and bite me, but good job, buddy You protected your brothers and sisters and you did an amazing job in protecting your home Now guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna head inside We're gonna be preparing the birds morning feeding bowls and then we're gonna be burying this poor little little snake. So we've made it to the kitchen. We got everything set up to make our yummy, yummy bird bowls. So first off, of course, we have our seeds right here that we're gonna be adding into our bowls. Now we're gonna have two bowls for food, two bowls for water. We got some grapes, we got some sweet potato, and we got some spinach. And all of this is great vitamins and great for our growing birds. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop this on open, all right? And then we're just gonna take it and we're not gonna fill it up all the way. We're just gonna pour, 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 and there there we go for our first bowl, pour, 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 and there we go for our second bowl. Now the reason we're not adding that much is because our birds are very, very tiny. Their tummies are very, very tiny, and they don't really eat that much, so this will last them all throughout the day. And of course, since we're gonna be adding our fruits and our veggies, it is going to be the perfect blend. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up all of these fruits and veggies and add it into our bowls. And we got everything chopped up. We got our grapes finely chopped up along with our sweet potato and our spinach right here. Now all we have left to do is to add all of this into the bowl. So we're just gonna take everything and split it into two bowls. So I think we're gonna add one, two more pieces into this one. There we go, we added our grapes. Now we're just gonna take a good handful of this, add it into the first bowl. There we go. And last but not least for our first bowl, we're just gonna sprinkle our spinach on top. And there we have it. We have our first bowl ready. It looks so, so amazing. I, I literally might just take a bite out of it. But now that we got our first bowl made, we're just gonna add everything into the second bowl. So we're just gonna pick everything on up, sprinkle it into our second bowl, okay. And we're almost done. Here we go. And last one of these. There we have it. So we got both of our bowls nice and ready for our birds to munch on. It looks absolutely amazing. And they're definitely going to be excited to eat this yummy, yummy breakfast. Now the only thing left to do is to take these bowls, head outside, and feed our birds. And we got some hungry birds, so we're just gonna go ahead, open our enclosure on up. So we have our food station opened right here. We're just gonna go ahead and grab our food, and Larry is gonna be the first one to get our yummy food. Now let's see what he thinks. Oh my goodness. Look what we prepared for you. And he went for the sweet potato. Isn't that so yummy? Oh my goodness. He immediately went for the sweet potato. He is munching and he is crunching and he is enjoying his morning breakfast. So we're just going to go on ahead and place our water bowl in here without getting bit. All right. There we go, buddy. Not going to not going to disturb you anymore. We're just going to go on ahead, close this up. All right. Okay. All right, you enjoy your morning breakfast now. So we got both of the feeding bowls in. Our birds are making their way to go eat their yummy, yummy breakfast. Now guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a burial spot to bury our baby snake. We've got our burial spot dug up. We found the perfect place and we got our little baby snake. Now the only thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put our little baby snake right here. There you go, little buddy. Rest easy. There you go. We're gonna take our shovel and we're just gonna shovel 
this dirt back on top very, very slowly. All right, okay. And we're almost done, we're gonna compact it down. Make sure no animal tries to get in there and get to our baby snake. And there we have it, our baby snake is buried. And well that is going to end today's video. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, we'll give this video a big thumbs up and guys, comment down below if you think there are more snakes living in my bird enclosure. Now guys, if you wanna see if there's any more snakes or critters living in the tiki hut of my bird enclosure, well what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.